Curious to know what's happening in San Diego real estate in spring 2019? Well, this is Sean Zangane bringing you tips and tricks on how to win in the San Diego real estate market. So today, more than ever, we're constantly having conversations of, how's the market, Sean? What's going on in the market? And it's a great question. Well, today we're bringing you three trends that we're seeing in spring 2019 to help you win in the San Diego real estate market. So item number one, interest rates. Interest rates are back down to a place of happiness. We're seeing mid 4% interest rates, which kind of disappeared if many of you noticed in the fourth quarter, which caused a lot of the market to slow down. What does this mean for you if you're a buyer? Well, you now can afford a lot more home than you could in the fourth quarter of 2018. This is super exciting for the market as we see San Diego being a premium market within the United States. The next thing is if you're a seller, this means you have more people interested in looking in your home. So interest rates are definitely what we saw as one of the main drivers at the end of 2018 where we saw a shift in the marketplace. The next thing we see is inventory. If you're a buyer today, you have almost 20% more homes on the market than we had in 2018. Well, what does this mean for the marketplace? If you're a buyer, well, you're not having to overbid or look at properties that are average and having to pay a premium for them, there's a little bit more room to negotiate because there are options. If you're a seller, this means pricing is key. And the last item is we're seeing the appreciation of homes starting to slow down. So what does that mean? We're seeing homes where we've seen double and high single digit appreciations year over year for the last several years start to look like 2019 may look like a low single digit appreciation. So what does that mean for you guys in the marketplace? If you're a buyer, it means that yes, there will be a little bit more room to negotiate this year, but take advantage of interest rates. The Fed came out and said, we will not be aggressively increasing interest rates just in March, which is exciting for everybody because now it's gonna build a lot of stimulation in the market to help people reach their goals. And what it means for you if you're a seller, well today, the days of five, 10, 15 offers on a property are gonna to start to dwindle and we're gonna to start to see one, two, maybe three offers on a property is going to become the new norm. Does this mean that you'll set a record in your neighborhood? Absolutely, with the right marketing, the right team in place and the right plan, we're still seeing records being broken in every single neighborhood, but it's starting to change. So you need to be very careful if you're a seller today on how much you list price and market your home on the price of your home. And also prep is super key. Those folks who've been kind of putting off those small upgrades that they've been looking to do, well, now is the time. Start working on them now, contact us. We have great vendors to help you guys, whether it's something as simple as paint touch-ups, maybe a faucet replacement, or something as large or small or whatever you can think of. We have vendors to help you to start prepping your home so when it's time for you to sell, you're in the driver's seat. So these are a few tips and trends that we're seeing in the marketplace to help both buyers and sellers win today. If you'd like to reach out to us and have a little bit more of a consultation to help plan your 2019 real estate goals, we'd love to hear from you. Again, this is Sean Zangane bringing you tips and tricks on how to win in the San Diego real estate market. Thanks so much and have a great day.